alalım. Honestly, it is so nice. Look at my view right now. Despite the rain, this is the view from pretty much the whole house, which is so nice. So, this is mine and Dan's bedroom. It's like a big king bed. It feels like a proper beach house, like with the green and the pink. Um, and then we've got a little wardrobe space. And then the view just goes again out to the beach. Up here, we've got a little toilet. Um, it's just like a little one. Hello, Bo. Good girl. And then coming down the stairs. So it's like a big staircase. And then you come down to like a little dining table. So big. Um, it's all like very like classical sort of furniture. And then here is a view onto the conservatory um, from here. And then it's got like a big bookcase. And then this is like the sitting area. We've just put the fire on, which is so cute. And then going left is my Nan's bedroom and the main bathroom. Is there towels? Yeah. There is. There's a name, a cupboard full of them. Though. Oh, is there? Okay, brilliant. And um, this is my Nan's room. So she's got a nice double bed for her and Bells. And it's just like really cute. Got a wardrobe. And it's very like classical. Classical beachy, isn't it? Yeah. And then go into here, and this is the bathroom. Bathroom's really nice. It's really big. It's not cramped at all. Um, so it's just got a nice big mirror, a heated towel rail, which is lovely. And then a really nice big walk-in shower. And then once you go out of here, is this the airing cupboard here? No, we can no. see the bathroom beyond the door. Oh, okay. There's another wardrobe. And then... Hello. What have you got? Got your bully? Ready? Got it. Again, you can see the beach from the window. And then you go into the kitchen. And the kitchen is so nice. How nice. It's such a nice little theme. Again... You can see the beach and we've got like a really nice drive and then we go out onto a little porch which is completely see-through and we've got a gate for the dogs and we're literally opposite the beach. We're not going out. And then I'll just show you the conservatory. Here's my little worker. How's it doing? Oh, it's got 20%. Yeah. It's gone up loads. Has it? Yeah. You sit there, darling, and don't move. Dan's uploading my video for me. And then you come... Huh? Okay. And then you come into... This is like the utility room. There's a washer, dryer, ironing board, hoover. It's just everything you'd kind of need. And then this is the conservatory. And I'm in love with the conservatory because this would be so nice to listen to the rain and to sit in here and play some games. It's got a big radiator. You can let the dogs out into the garden. It is so nice, so happy with it. Obviously, we've only literally just got here. We're just figuring out the Wi-Fi. Um, it's got a really big garden for the dogs and it was really affordable, I think, for the both of us. Like, for all of us, I think it come to, like, just over... I think that's a seal. I don't know, actually. Um, it came to just over 700, which I don't think was too bad at all for a whole week. Um, and yeah, just really, really like it. Good for the doggies. And we're going to upload my video, just get settled in, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Should we do a bed test? Yeah. Ready? Three. Hang on, I'm an unfair advantage here. Because I'm all my stuff. I've with stuff in my way. It's a battery now. Three. Two. You're in my way! Ready? 
Step one. Oh, oh that's comfy. Come on, Rose. Hello, <laughs> Bella Boo Boo. Beautiful Bella. <laughs> Hello, my little puppy. Ow! Ow! My nose! What are they doing? Oh! Come on, Rebecca! <laughs> That's if you get a nose for her. Rose, I'm scared! I'm, look how big the bed is. It's like home from home. Is this bigger than our bed? I think it is, isn't it? No. I don't it know. feels it. I think this is the same size to be fair. You think it's a super king? Yeah. Hello, are you on holiday? <laughs> it is so nice, isn't it? Mm. You hear that? The sea air. Can't wait to, to hear that tonight. How much do you this house is worth? Well, if they charge 700... Oh, my earrings fell out. If they charge 700 and um, like 50 for the week... Um, what? Say that's a week, though. It, it, I'd say around... They're getting what? Maybe like just under a grand a month. Well, no, I mean a grand a week. Yeah. So if they're getting just under four grand a month... We're saying their mortgages. But I reckon this is this is. On a minute. No, I reckon this is their parents' house. They've obviously passed. Away. No, they're quite old. Oh, are they? They're not young. They're probably like our parents' age. Oh, it must be their house. Like then. fifty. But they are literally just renting out their house. I think they're like late forties, fifties from the pictures. I see. I reckon it was their parents' house then. Do you? And then, instead of them living here or selling it, they've done what? All the investors would do. What anyone would do. With that, with that view. Yeah, you can't not, can you? Can you not get up, Pickle? You literally wake up and you've got the sea there. And you can see it out of every window. You can't get up. Come on, Ro. Come on. We need a little step for him. It's nice, isn't it? It's large. I'm just gonna unpack, guys. We're going to get some food. Um, it is. I don't know what time it is. One second, and I will tell you. I think it's nearly six o'clock. We're gonna pop to the co-op. There's actually one shop on the island. Um, it's so small. It's crazy. Is this? Did you buy this today? Yeah, on the boat. As a boat. What did you think of the boat experience? I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, I don't mind boats. Some people really hate them, don't they? I didn't mind it, but I did I didn't love the sensation of the so much, but it, it was it was fine. You didn't mind it when we were out on the deck, did you? No, I felt more, you know when I was walking to the toilet, I felt a bit dizzy. But I've not that's my only my like second time on a boat, so I think that's probably why. Um, I look what's on. We have a little joke about that song from Liam out of yeah, um, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I Y K I Y K. Um, yeah. So yeah, so we, we found somewhere called Harry's Hall, but like Harry's H A or not like whore you whore. Um, <laughs> Least we cleared that. <laughs> um, so we're going to. We've ordered. My nan had fish and chips. Dan had a burger, and I had chicken and chips. So we're gonna have that, and it was really good reviews. I think it's like one of the only like cool takeaway places in the island. I don't really know. Yeah, it looks a bit like a bit, bit more aimed at the younger audience. Uh, this whole island is like one big strip, and <laughs> like it's crazy. Like. Like you can see the other side of the island. That's no, no, matter. that's a different island. Oh, is it? Yeah, can we not get there? We could get a ferry there. But oh, we couldn't walk there. But we can't walk there. No. I've not seen many people. Yeah, we'd get wet if you started to walk there. I've not seen many humans. Well, there probably ain't a lot, many, a lot of humans on the island. I didn't realise how small it'd be. Like there isn't even a McDonald's or a oh, let's have a look at when we get back. How, how much, much that's the, how for much sale. the house is? 
Okay. Um, I reckon I reckon it's going to be more than we think it's going to be. Really? Yeah. Let's so have a look. Right, mate. Imagine been waking up to that view every it's morning. It's stunning, isn't it? But I couldn't live here without a B and M or a Primark or anything. Essentials. They are essentials <laughs> for me. That's two hundred and thirty. It's huge. What? How much is it? Two hundred and thirty grand a, for a full bed. For that? <laughs> what? And has it got a sea view? Yeah. What the fuck? That's mental. Oh, that's an apartment. Yeah, but it's a free bed apartment. It's fucking massive. Forty nine grand on the. That's the high we're, we're coming up to that. That's all that's for sale. It must have been that top one. This is what we're looking at, guys. Like, this is the street, and then the beach is to like the right. So you can come with us to the co-op. We've made him. Let's go. I'm dressed, I don't think it's appropriate, but it's fine. Got this acid wash tracksuit on and then the Zara jacket from Boohoo Rolo. Um, so yeah, um, we are heading out to the swing, the Bali swing of Scotland, which I'm really excited about. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool. This is the view this morning, stunning. It's looking cold, windy and rainy, but that's okay. So let's go. Come on then! all over you. Kiwi! 
So, God, I'm tired. We um, finished our walk at like we mud everywhere at like, what, two? Yeah. Just after two? Yeah. Um, how did you find the walk? Uh, I loved it. It was muddy AF. Yeah. And we saw a TikTok and was like, Scotland has a, um, Scotland has a barley swing. And I was like, oh, so we were going to go and see it. And it was, what? Nothing. Okay. Oh. And it was like a, we thought it was a loot walk, but it wasn't. It was like a... It, well, it was just a, a, a to B. I think it might have been a loot walk if you, you went a different could, yeah, way. You probably def definitely could have done that, but... Um, but it was, it wasn't, I would say it was just like a moderate walk, like it wasn't hard, it yeah, wasn't easy. Yeah, the worst bit about it was how, how like, buggy it was. And it was a, like a little bit up uphill if you're not used to, yeah. like, you know, There was hills. plenty of trees to grab hold of if you needed to. Like. Yeah, it was a bit slippery, but we never really wear walking gear as such, so. Um, but yeah, it was good. I was tired after that. The swing was really fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, it, was it was a really cool feeling. Um like swinging basically like it felt like you were going into the lake yeah, it was it did. really cool it did. um so i really recommend that we have no idea we have no plans for the rest of the week like we don't know what we're doing do we oh i think we're one day we're gonna go over to maybe another island and, and do go, a mountain go do one of the mountains which might be fun bin they're all called b-e-i-n um bin <laughs> um but honestly like Rafa say and like the Isle of Beauty is so pretty like there's it's not one there's not one ugly house like it's stunning yeah, it's um, incredible. and like because you, is that a lock then or is that the sea that's the sea but I mean I'll probably get slated for saying it but to me I would call that a lock but it's not a lock because it's the sea right a lock is when it gets closed in or so it's kind of whatever it is anyway so like the the water the sea's there, there basically it is right next to you like it's literally there like we could just drive the car in i mean like some of the ships that have been coming past our yeah. our window have been fucking huge i'm pretty sure there's a few navy boats that have been in and out as well it's 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 mental i mean that like that doesn't mean much to me but um i keep thinking people are on a boat but it's the boys what are they called boys 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 <laughs> Boys. Um so yes, yeah, so we're gonna get some fish and chips. We've honestly just chilled for the last like four or five hours, haven't we? We've it's we were so kin wet, so yeah. we washed the dogs, um, took our shoes and socks off because we were wet through and we literally have just like Dan's done stuff for his website, I've been editing my vlog, Sue's been on her puzzle. It's just been a nice chilled vibe now we're coming out to get some fish and chips and we're here for the vibes that we really are. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. I'm just trying this protein shake one second. Ooh, it smells nice. No, do you know what that tastes like? Them Arla ones, doesn't it? Like light. I don't think it tastes quite as bad as that. Not a fan. Um, so, it is 11.54. God, where the mornings just seem to fly when we get up. Um, we are on the way to, what's the lock called? We're not going to a uh, lock. What are we going to? What was it, Sue? Catachin <laughs> loop walk. A loop walk, not anyway. A, yeah, not loop And it's Five meant miles. to be really nice views. And um, yeah, we're really excited. Do you know what's just come up on my phone now? Dan's obsessed with Ford, Ford Rangers and someone just put us an article. I drove the new Ford Raptor Ranger. I'd like to drive the new Ford Raptor Ranger. Um, and yeah, so it's really pretty. We're just driving towards wherever it is. We're still... Oh, so, are we still in Rothersay so or are we just on the Isle of Butte now? Just on the Isle of Butte. Right. We left Rothersay. 
left her off a side in the dust. We just went to cup and got a little espresso and some water because we're not quite sure how long we're going to be out and when us three seem to do walks we end up being out hours with no food or drink so we thought we'd be prepared this time. Um, last time we were away we ended up doing a nine hour walk and it was pretty rough so we're not going to do that today. We're all prepared in our new balance. <laughs> Um, our shoes are filthy from yesterday. Look at that, they're soaking wet. Honestly, my little toes. We they said they were like a washing machine and a dryer. Um, but the washing machine isn't actually plumbed in and there's no sight of a dryer. So we can't actually wash our clothes. So we are gonna try and find a laundrette or something because Dan was relying on the washing machine and he hasn't bought much clothes. I've bought about three full Sets Believe clothes. it or not, he does have clothes, although you can't see them in the house. And many of you ask if he actually lives with me. He does live there, I can confirm, and he does have items of clothing. They're just hidden. <laughs> um, so, yes, so we are on the way. It's very pretty. Um, and I will let you know when we get there. Cheers. Good boy. Hey, here we go for wet feet. <laughs> Hello. What do you want? <laughs> good boy. Hey, that's Your a good harness boy. is nothing but a problem, that's Rolo James. Oh, I've threaded it through as well. I got nothing for it. I'm going swimming so sharp. Soon, Mum. Soon, I'm going swimming. Please. Please hang on my camera. Okay guys, we've made it onto the walk. It's so pretty. We don't really know where we're going. And like, there's not never a beach as such, but it's like a, a rocky, baggy sort of thing. Um, so the dogs have just been running on there and we think we're just following the signs. We're not really 100% sure, but it is very pretty and it's much sunnier than yesterday, which is great. And a waterfall. The seals. Guys, how pretty we've made it to a little bay. How long have we been walking, guys? Like an hour or so, or no? Really? Hello, we're having a pit stop and it's honestly beautiful. It's so sunny, the sea is sparkling and it just looks so nice. We've been walking for just over an hour and this is what we're looking like. How beautiful. Someone's coming to say hello. Hello, I'm okay, are you enjoying yourself? You're a good boy, aren't you? Have fun. <laughs> We're paddling. Bye. Are you ready? Go. You're okay. Good boy. <laughs> You're so cute. 
Trevor. Hello, sweetheart. Good boy. 5.44. I am tired. I'm scrubbed off. I had a big shower. I was in there for a good 20 minutes, wasn't I? Mm, you were. I scrubbed time. all my body, got all my fake tan off. I shaved my arms. I shaved my legs. I shaved my bits. I shaved my armpits. I shaved my toes. I shaved my nipple. I shaved my whole body. So I'm like a seamless cat now. And it feels great. I um, then got out of the shower. I've been doing some editing for the weekly vlog. Taking me a long ass time to do that. I tell you, my memory card's been a little player. Um, but we are on the way to get a Chinese. And there isn't loads of option. And you know, you girls fussy. So, like that Harry's we had the other night was really nice. But I didn't love what I had. Like, the chicken was quite spicy. And I don't think there's anything else on the menu I would eat. So, a bit of a situation there. So, we decided on a Chinese. And like a rung one. And I was like, oh, please, gonna have blah, 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 duck pancakes. And he was like, duck pancakes, we do not do them. And I thought, oh, pardon? You don't do duck pancakes? I've never heard of a Chinese not doing them. Have you? No. So I was like, okay, I don't want that. So we found one that does. There's two Chinese on the island and luckily Jay Garden has it all. So we're gonna go and have a little cheeky Chinese. It's so sunny. The weather's so bi bi bipolar. One minute it's sunny, one minute it's tearing down the rain. There is no in between, is there? When we were on um when we were like on our walk, we were so warm, like it was when I was videoing, it was sunbathing. And then all of a sudden, like Bella started chasing the sheep and so did Rory. So then we, but then after that palaver had ended, it was all of a sudden freezing cold, yeah, wasn't it? Like it was like a second, second change. change. Um, so that wasn't so cute. And then it was just like, we decided to turn back because if we'd have done the whole walk, I reckon it'd have been like five hours. I think we would have just been getting back to the car now. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't. Um, so it was like three hours or whatever instead. Um, the water is really calm again now, though it's really brightened up again. It's That's beautiful. And um, what did you think of the walk? Yeah, I loved it. It was nice. We saw seals. We um, saw a nice view. It was quite like uneven terrain isn't it so like yeah. if you have like you know you can't it's not like a flat pack you can take a push chair like oh God, no. you know you yeah. need like we shouldn't have really had out the shoes that we had on um just to give you some context but it was a nice walk i think i told you earlier what it was called um the circular walk um we're just gonna get a drink from the shop of course oh god i'm so tired um, and yeah, then have our Chinese, right. but like we ordered with the Chinese the first time, and he was like, "Yeah, that'll be sixty-six pound." And I thought, "Pardon, sixty-six pound?" I said, "Oh, hang on a moment," and I just had to put the phone down. I thought she needed a second to process what he just said. Sixty-six pound for for a Chinese. I thought, God, I'm not having the prawn toast then. Like that, <laughs> I'm not being a fat bitch. I'm not having the prawn toast, you know. So, did you think that was a lot of money? You know I Oh, the thought. black ball, that's where we're going for Sunday dinner. Oh, okay. You know I thought it was a lot of money. Because I, uh, I, I said, let's just not go there if it's going to cost that much. When me and Dan have a Chinese at home, it comes to £26, right? Yeah, roughly, yeah. You know, we have like duck pancakes, chicken balls, chips, curry sauce, that's it. I mean, admittingly, Dan is having something extra. He's having a chicken, a beef chow mein. But, and which we have got six, soup. Which is six quid. Yeah, and when we've got soup. But then, like, taking off the prawn toast was like, took off like seven quid. And I thought, surely not. Um, but anyway, so we, that's what we're doing anyway. So I'll let you know if the Chinese is nice. It's such a nice, I wonder what that's like, the wildflower garden. How's it getting there? I think that is it. Oh. So we're having a nice time so far. Do you like Rothfusser? I love Rothfusser. It just feels like you're on your own. Like you're literally just on your own island pretty much. Like you don't really see many people. Like admittedly we haven't gone out and eaten out anywhere. So that's probably like another thing. But it's just so quiet. Yeah, it's, it, it is dead. It just feels like we've gone back in time almost. Um... 
Yeah, it's like it feels like very old fashioned, doesn't it? Mm. Like all the houses, like we were looking on Right Move, and like some of the houses were like so like a big four bedroom fuck off house like it's got land around it like a big garden a sea view you're talking like 240k like 240k i'm yeah. sorry that's crazy there was a three bed like massive three bed apartment how much was that 130 110 110 and it had a like sea view looking at god take my 11 bed. grand now he's my 10 percent. i thought what so yes, we have just pulled up at the car. It's a nice pickle. It is a nice pickle. <sighs> I'll show you the Chinese when we get it. I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> Guys, look, our Chinese is in a box. What the hell? Peekaboo! We got a package.
freshly baked again last night and I really really like it and um, see how it lasts this week because yesterday would have been like a day over a week so <laughs> why am I struggling to work that out eight days and um like I still had remnants of tan like I, it didn't look too bad at all um but I just need it needed to come off because it was just going patchy you know it didn't look fresh but I was really impressed with how it um, lasted so I used it again this week and we'll see how it performs I'm just putting some skincare on and I just wanted to chat to you because I feel like I haven't like I'm so used to weekly vlogging like because I'm all like so out and about I'm not fully catching up with you guys I'm like god it's weird um just wanted to say hi um have my nurse one just before I came away I don't even think you'll see they're like different colour pink tips, but it's so overexposed, I don't think you'll be able to tell. Um, and I love them so much, they look so cute. Just like a, They almost look like, just like white, but they look like, up close as a pop of pink. Um, just had a shower, we had a really nice time at the beach today. That was called Ecken E something Bay. I'll try and put it on the screen if I remember. Um, but that was really, really nice. And now, um, and then we, I made dinner, I made chicken and chorizo creamy pasta for everyone. And it was so nice. And um, we had some garlic bread. And then I've just done some chocolate strawberries in the most unesthetically pleasing way, can I add? I don't know why I did them like that. Um, they did not look cute at all. So I made those. And then, um... I've literally, yeah, been uploading my weekly blog, finally got it edited, I was going to do a bit of colouring, but my back is really sore, so I'm going to go and get comfy downstairs and do it, because I've sat in the conservatory. Um, but I just wanted another shower, just to get clean, we got really muddy at the beach. Um, as you saw, we, sorry, Bella's barking. As you saw, we ended up having a little bit of a paddle. I'm just trying to find my eyelash colour, there we are. Um, but honestly, it's so beautiful here. Like, it is so small, like, there's literally 7,000 people who live here like how crazy is that like I said to my nan like guess how many people live here and she's like ah oh, 20,000 I was like ah oh, seven um it's crazy and like I was we were speaking to um the lady at the shop because Bella's uh, lead broke yesterday while we were on our walk it snapped and um we went and bought Bella another leak because there was a pet shop there's a pet shop on the island Hello Rolly and um she said um like her son and daughter like go over to Glasgow for a night out. Hello, you're right darling. And um no and they um they have to like get all the ferry all the way like and they've gone to the same school like since they were like five or four until at the age of like year she called it a weird year but I'm gonna say it was like year like either sixth form slash like you know college or high school um i'm just i used glaze this morning i was just seeing if it had made a difference to my hair color i feel like it's lightened it a little bit i'm not quite sure um but i was working with them so it's like it's like a conditioning gloss and i got mine in the color vanilla lights and I was just seeing, you leave it on for 10 minutes, you like apply it all over your hair. And I was just seeing if it had made a much different. Um, but I really liked it, so my hair felt really, really soft. But I didn't put a hair mask on, so I feel like I'm still, I feel like it could feel even better, you know. I just didn't bring one with me. Well, yeah, the um, the lady was like, because um, I was saying like, oh, like, learning to drive, like, there's actually no traffic. There's like a two-way around the island. I was like, 
they'd be like lost if they came to Birmingham and she was like well <laughs> on their driving test it takes them it takes them six weeks to learn to drive because of how um like little people there are and um that her what they do is like the people who were learning to drive they ask their mum or dad to come out to cause a bit of traffic <laughs> because there's that little people it's crazy but what someone goes back past like every not even like two minutes like it's crazy like on the main and we're not on the main road um but yeah it's so nice here really really love it it's just so nice that like, waking up being by the water and just feeling like you can fully relax like you don't think oh should we go out to dinner or such because like there isn't that many places and I don't know it's just a really really nice vibe I feel like you can really I've been working but it, I don't feel like stressed you know I just love it um, but I'm gonna go upstairs we're gonna do our jigsaw puzzle we're getting on so well with it and I'll catch up with you later Mwah. hope you're enjoying the vlog good morning So, look how far we've got to go. Look at the view. Literally can't see a soul. We're so high up. Guys, look at the state of me. I fell over and I'm an absolute mess. Guys, I'm a fat mess. Look at me. I just want to get down. I'm so tired. We've been like four hours and it's so muddy. Ah! Shit. I must see shoes off. Hello guys. So I thought I would update you on our day. Um, so we went to walk. What was the hill called? Kilbride. Yes. Kilbride Hill. And it said it was going to take like two hours, which we thought, yep, yeah, easy peasy. And um, <laughs> it was all fine. You know, it was the same path we went up on Mon to Wednesday. And, um, you know, but where we went to the swing, but we split off. So we thought, brilliant, you know, it's just a hill. Look, if you aren't local to Telford Place, we have something called the Reekin. And that's like a... Quite a steep hill, like, takes like, I don't know, 45 minutes an hour to climb, same on the way back down, and we thought it won't be any different to that. Right, so, you go through such different levels of, like, terrain, so, like, you go through, like, a muddy forest, then you go through an actual forest, then you go up a hill, and then you go up, like, a dirt track, and then we went all up the dirt track, and then to, like, another forest, and then we got to the hill. So it took us, how long would you say to get up? About two hours. Yeah. Took us about two hours to get back. It was very muddy and boggy. That is one thing I was sad because of the weather as well. It is very boggy around here, isn't it? Like yeah. it's just like bog city. <laughs> um, so yeah, we were fine. We were on the way back down. You know, we were feeling quite tired. It was quite a tough last ascent to the hill we were feeling you know tired hungry we thought we'd be out two hours and we knew we had to come all the way back down so and it was kind of like just after the big hill we went into the forest and it was so boggy i got a bit cocky because i thought i'm covered in mud i'm soaking wet i'm in my new balance you know what can go wrong and then i step in this puddle because dan was like come up here and i'm like um no just leave me alone so i step in this thing and my whole shoe 
just goes in the pond. So like my foot's gone, like I can't get it back. And it's really stuck my shoes off. So like I'm in my sock in this mud pit and Dan's like, oh for fuck's sake, like he comes to help me. So like he pulls me out and starts rescuing my shoe. But in the meantime, my other foot had sunk and where Dan had stood trying to get my shoe, his shoe had come off. So we all lost our shoes, we were in our socks, it stunk, we were knee deep. I'll include any footage I've got. Um, took us probably about 15, 20 minutes to get out of the complication. And then we were out. Um, Sue just watched by the fight, like standing in line. And we managed to get out. And we were absolutely covered, like it looked like I had leggings on. So then we headed back down in silence for for most of it because Dan just wanted to stab me. Sue just was in disappointment. Everyone was tired, and then we had, that was like right at the start. So we still had another like two hours to get down. So it took us like just under four hours to do the walk, and we've done like seventeen thousand steps, and we are tired, tired. A bit of a long journey i can't lie um but we're home we're all quite tired the dogs are tired they've just got a treat we've all eaten my poor new balance are soaking in the um sink we bought some oxy vanish this morning actually before the incident knowing they were absolutely filthy because i don't have any walking shoes because i'm an idiot um and yes yeah, so that is our day we're just waiting we're having the same as we had um the other night we're having harry's um so yeah we're just waiting for that dan's gone to pick it up we were having it delivered but they said that they couldn't get a delivery driver so dan's gone to pick it up luckily we obviously have the car and yeah Ugh. honestly we're all really tired it is what time is it half five and yeah we've been trying to do a bit of the puzzle and we haven't really eaten properly today i'm so hungry so i will catch up with you when the food gets here i've just had chicken sue's had chili with nachos and dan had a burger i believe hello guys and happy sunday it's sunday for us right now and we are just on the way to is it Scalpsy? Scalpsy, yeah. Scalpsy Bay, and apparently it's a nice beach. We're ten minutes away. We're gonna get there at eleven, eleven. Um, so we just stopped at the shop and got a little coffee, and I got a Nutrigrain bar, and then got a Squares bar and a protein shake. And oh, you had a protein bar there from yesterday. Oh yeah. Um. We, our plans today is we would like a Sunday roast, however we are not sure whether we're going to get one or we're going to have to go to the co-op and buy one. We, there's only one place that does a Sunday roast, so... Will the butchers be open today? Do they not normally open on a Sunday? Yeah, they do. Do they not normally open on a Sunday? No. Don't they? Shall I Google it? Because I wanted to go in the butchers before we went back, but... Closed today. Yeah, I thought they would be. Um, so yeah, so we're not sure what we're doing for lunch. There's one called like is it was it the Black Bull? Yeah. The Black Bull, but that's the only place we think that does a Sunday roast. Um and it doesn't open till twelve and it's eleven. I did leave a message yesterday, however, had no response. Was so. it yesterday or was it the day before that? Yesterday. Was it? Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. Um, I did it when we were on the way to the walk yesterday. Oh, I thought I thought it was like a couple of days ago. No, just one. Um, so hopefully we can get a roast somehow. we I'm really hungry. Um, we haven't had any breakfast this morning. We didn't really have anything. Wow. Um, and yeah, so we're off to Scalpsy Bay, and we'll see you there. And you can see the view we're looking at right now. It's so nice. I don't think camera will do it justice. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favourite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's 
just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love And it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love And it's Strolling hand in hand Exchanging letters when you're away Don't need any effort when we are together We always have fun throughout the day I'll do anything to get your attention When you say you love me I seem to ascend to the heavens above Where we fall in love I don't know what I would do without you Because all I need All I need Is you Make me fly To the clouds One, two, three all that Hello angels, so We've just made it to the beach And we're gonna go Swimming, well not swimming Just dabbling in um, the view is incredible. We've got our swimming costumes on. Well, Dan's not got his on. I've just got a gym fit on. Um, and I'm really scared. I'm going to keep my jumper on and just wear my swimming costume. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to put you here and wish me luck. Hi besties, it is our last day. Can't believe it, can't believe we've really been here a week. What the hell, like last Tuesday, we were in the car traveling up to Scotland and now we're almost going home. And it's really sad. Um, it is currently 9.44. We are gonna go for some breakfast and we're really excited. It's a gorgeous sunny day today, which is exactly what we needed on our last day. Um, oh, they've got their Christmas lights up. Interesting. <laughs> Must not have took that, got a chance to take them down yet. Um, so, yeah, we're not sure where we're going to go for breakfast. There's a couple of little cafes that we haven't been in. There's one called Ambience. Um, and that Musica. That's the cafe too. Because uh, we will, we are in the diner. Um, and then there's this really cute cafe that I literally just want a picture by like and I would you know it's so cute guys it's called Helmies and it's like the most Instagrammable cafe around here um so yeah got my sisters and souls tracksuit on there's a new episode this morning so go and watch that it's all things TMI we talk about contraception all them girly things that people don't talk about enough so go and enjoy that I was just listening to it um Yes, so we will catch up with you when we know where we're going for a brekkie. Over there, am I in the way? Of course, you're not in the way. The vlog would love to see Sue. 10 10. 10 10, angel number. Hello, angels. So 
we have made it to the diner. And I have had bacon roll with a hash brown. What have you had? Pancake stack with maple syrup. Oh yeah. Porky Moo Moo. What have you had? Big breakfast. That is the gang's breakfast this morning. I'll let you know how it is. You had pancakes last time, didn't you? Yes. Did you enjoy? Excellent. Yeah. And Daniel had pancakes last time with bacon, but this time he's had a big breakfast. You really surprised me when you said that. Yeah. I thought you were going for pancakes again. Big breakfast. He just shot it out there. And we've also had a vanilla latte. And yes, so I'll let you know when it comes out. We made it! We're on the bed! It's so clear! <laughs> you okay, bro? Hey, best friends. We have just got back from our walk and I look like a hot mess. My eyebrows have got really fluffy in the wind. Let's just brush them back up where they belong. All my freckles have came out. Okay, so I'm just gonna get changed. We're gonna go and get, there's this little cafe that I really wanna go to called Helmy's and I really wanna go. Um, and they do bubble tea there. So I wanna go there. Um, I'm just gonna, well, I'm not gonna get changed as such. I think I might just take this off. I'm not quite sure. Might, do I just leave this on? I could do, could I know? Just put my denim jacket on. You can really see my tattoo. How cute, what do we think? I think it's so cute and dirty. The fact that it's stuck to a little bit round it, but I think I might just leave this on. It's a POT scoop, scoop look set. And then just, just put my denim jacket back on. Oh, this denim jacket is everything to me. It's the POT one. It's called like the oversized washed denim jacket. And if you and looking for a denim jacket it's just perfect i think mine's in a 14. i believe it comes up huge though i got jode for her birthday two years ago and that was a 12. um and it just like is the perfect oversized vibe my hair is really wavy from the sea but i'm gonna go back in the sea tonight so um is our last night we're gonna go for a little swim. Well, I say a swim, it's like a paddle because the tide's out so far. Um, I'm not bothering doing anything to my hair. It's, it's really like wavy. There's so many um, plane lines in the sky. Look at this, it looks so cute. How cute. I'm just going to put on my New Balance and then put my Chanel bag And then my perfume. Need a little bit more lip balm. And we're gonna go and get yeah a drink and get a bubble tea or a nice coffee if they do one. Let's go. We've just come to put petrol in, and there's one petrol station on the whole island. And you'll never guess what he puts the petrol in for you. Like, and there's like what there's literally two little baby pumps. I'll show you my surroundings. Look, guys, I'll show you. Look, it's just at a little garage. What the hell, that's mad! I can't believe that, can you? Have you ever seen this before? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. You know, in Yeovil? Yeah. You know where... That's so cool. Uh, Piggity Witches, the pub. No. 
Uh, Br- Tesco's Bridge. Yeah. So, Piccadilly Witch. Yeah, Piccadilly Witch pub. Oh, I've never been there yet. Um, yeah. No, sorry, the Beehive. So, you know where Big Tesco's is? Yeah. Opposite that is if you went over the bridge to go towards Preston Grove. Yeah. At the top of there, there were some flats on the corner. Yeah. There, those flats are about 20 years old. I remember about 20 years ago, we went to get some petrol there. You and your mum? Yeah, and aid as well. And it was a attendant. No way. Like uh, attendant. Attendant? Well, is that what it's called? Yeah. Hi, mate. Yeah, diesel. How much we Uh, how much should we, should we fill it up? Do you take car payments? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll fill it up, mate. Okay. That's the cheapest fucking diesel I've paid in ages. Really? 158. Is that cheap? Gotta to get to the oil you mm. Guys, just got my costume on. We'll go into swimming. You want to show you swimming outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so we're going swimming. Um, I've got my cosy on ofs, and Danza's got Danza's <laughs> Danza's has <laughs> my trunks on, and we're going swimming. Yeah, see you there. <laughs> we're back in the car hello um so we on the beach it was freezing wasn't it i managed to go to the vagina in and then i stopped bum was wet i stopped there and i thought this is too much for me i don't want to get my hair wet don't want to get my face wet today it was shiver cold rollo was there swimming after Turns us. a little mole rat. Yeah, he didn't even want to come and then he just gets FOMO, doesn't he? <laughs> Mum! Literally. So he starts swimming in, I think that's fuck thick. So, Dan just dived in like a psycho. I paddled out and... Air me tonight, I'm afraid it's still busy. There's queuing... Fucking hell. That scared the life out of me! Fucking traffic up there. There's about three cars here. <laughs> Um, so we're going to get dinner. Me and Porky are having fish and chips, and my nan wants a Harry haul. So <laughs> it's it's not said. No, it's not spelt how it's said, is it? It's spelt like H A W. Oh, oh, God, she she's doing? right. Oh, lots of drama happened there, wasn't there? Uh, it's Harry Hawes, but not like, you're a whore. I think I said this at the start, actually, so boring of me. Um, H-A-W. H-A-W. Yeah. Harry Ha. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, that is the end of our final day. I'm so sad. Um, going to get our din-dins and what? I said that. <laughs> Don't that look like the whole, um, that film. Haunted of Blind Manor? No. Which one? The Haunted Mansion or whatever it is. Or haunted Which House. One? The one with Eddie Murphy in it. Well, I don't know what that's called. Have you not watched that one? I don't think so. Oh, that was a classic for me. Let me Google it. Haunted House it was. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay, sure it was. Google. Yeah, Eddie Murphy was there. You've it's just said that. It's a classic. <laughs> um, so, you, yeah. see, you repeat yourself all the time, so don't call me out. Well, I've only did it because you've, you've just said it. that we get we're on our way to get tea three times. Exactly. I'm just not wasting negative energy on negative <laughs> people at the moment. I'm trying to regain my positivity for myself. Yeah, well. Um. So yes, I'm so excited. We I want halloumi, but last time they forgot it, so I'm hoping they remember it. The sun is absolutely beaming in my eyes. It's beaming, isn't it? Can you see? I mean, I can see, but... I'm struggling. My vision feels like it's impaired right now. I just thought my dressing gown on. I was nice and cosy. Can you come in with me? <sighs> so I've had to go and get... I've got my slippers on. This is the 
2P fit, sisters on sales tracksuit, of course, Zara jacket and my, I don't even know where, I think these are from Ego, um, but they're so fucking comfy, honestly, they're such a vibe. <laughs> um, it honestly takes like two seconds to get into town, doesn't yeah, it? We're, uh, we're literally are, here, yeah. what, how long was the clip? Two minutes and 20 Two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> that is mental. That's crazy, and we're in the town. So let's go get chips, chips, fish and chips. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. Time to pack, guys. Which is sad. Oh, I'm so full from my tea. Right, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. Yup. Yup. Amenities, or what's it called now? Amenities. Amenities. 
it said there was a washing machine and dryer and I can just confirm the washing machine is not plumbed in. Um, so we went with the impression of like my nan bought washing tablets and we thought that's okay we can wash our clothes. I only bought like four sets of clothes for, for that reason. That's why in, in the vlog you've seen me wear the same top of that three days on the truck. And it's not because he's a tramp, it's just because we thought we'd be able to wash our clothes. So I, did, I did change boxes every day though, I did, I did, I did have enough boxes for Look, every day. Are you day, trying to so. justify yourself? Yeah, because I know what some people are liking in your little well, world of weird followers. Um, if you wanted to wear the same boxes, you do you, who fucking cares? Anyway. I even draw the line at that. No, no but... Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Airbnb, yeah. not idiots. Um, so, that's the only thing I would say that I think was a bit annoying because we were there for the whole week. We were under the impression we could wash our stuff and yeah, we couldn't. Like, if we didn't think there would have been a washing machine, there wouldn't have been a problem, you know? But, and there wasn't a dryer either. Obviously, it wouldn't matter because we couldn't wash anything. But, um, so I just wanted to mention that if you um, were going to try to be transparent that there wasn't a washing washing machine um, I think I said this at the start of the video but it cost us just over £700 between the three of us um, for six nights um, for us we're obviously living near Birmingham it took about six hours to get and the ferry was about 20, 20 12 quid on the way there not including driver but we got like a return ticket didn't we? It worked out at 44 quid um, for a return right and that's an open return you can do that it was a bit more expensive for an open return because when i looked online and um, my return was 20 quid was so that was just um, a structured return you know um so and we didn't actually travel off the island we thought we would at the beginning but we didn't end up doing that um so obviously it's quite accessible they run all day the ferries and you see them going like you know after like six seven o'clock yeah they, there's two that go simultaneously so one comes in whilst the other one's going out kind of thing so. um so yeah so that you can get off the island if you want to um and you can do that every day um and on the island of like there was lots of different like bays different um locks different beaches and you could drive around the whole um island it would take you an hour and um, we didn't we like looked on like tiktok and looked on like all trails for different walks um nan what was your favorite part of the holiday Airbnb was very nice, nicely situated right on the coast. Yep. And my favourite bit was the beaches, how beautiful they were and uncrowded and unspoiled. Um and Yeah, that's a good point. That, that yeah. every garden on the island and like there's not like a a, sp a bit of grass out of place. Yeah, like, that's they something take to mention. So much pride in their island. And they were lovely people. Apart from the woman that wouldn't serve me a Red Bull, everyone was really lovely. And like everyone took, like Dan said and my nan, they took care of their buildings and their gardens and there was no litter. It was so clean yeah. and untouched, wasn't it? Not, like there was not a bit of rubbish on any beach either. No. Apart from like bits that had got washed in every now and then, but it was just, it, the water was clean. Like, the water clear. was clear, apart from the one where the, the um, ferries were rolling in and out yeah, a bit of mud yeah. but like the actual beaches were clear like, well, I wouldn't swim in it if it wasn't clear um, you, could, you could see like the little the little shrimps and stuff walking along the bottom of the sea like, bed couldn't you? Yeah. It, was, it, was crazy. it was crazy and it was like clear like <laughs> we just said that but like it was just mad like it felt like I wasn't in England yeah I know I was in Scotland, but do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it felt like I was abroad. It's, it's a beautiful place. In the summer, it would feel like you were in yeah. this cool yeah. beach house somewhere, like, that's not... It was just such a cool vibe. You can really tell, like, where where the Harry Potter ideas have come from around there as well. Because everywhere you look, you can kind of... See, yeah, like, you the can, forest we went through Yeah, you stuff. can kind of see the, the references to the films and stuff. I, I, it's just brilliant. And to round off, what would you say your recommendation were for the trip, Nan? What would you recommend where we went or...? Um, the beach walks I enjoyed the most because you can walk all around the, the coast and... So just for reference, yeah. 
Yeah, so just for reference, we went to Ettrick Bay, Scalpsy Bay, and what was the one when we did that walk where we saw the seals? Kill. Kill, Kill Chatton Kill Bay. Chatton. Yeah. Yeah. Kill Chatton Bay, and we parked at Rubber Dash. Right? For that? Is that the Rubber Dash one? No, that, no. No, that, the Rubber Dash one. The sweep. Yeah. The swing. Yeah. The swing um, and the long walk where you got stuck in the mud. Yeah, so if you want to, um, so the beaches, there's the beaches you went to. What was your favourite, the swing? Yeah, I'd probably say the swing. And that's like the barley swing in Scotland. So that's, um, it's if you type it on TikTok, um, Scotland barley swing, it comes up and you park at Rubber Dash. Um, yeah, you basically walk towards the, the, the World War II bunker. Yeah. And, and that's really see. cool, isn't it? Yeah, really cool. So overall, I would definitely recommend the only downside, and this isn't a downside as such, we're just used to it because where we live, like there wasn't a lot of shops, like um, supermarkets and corner shops, there wasn't any much choice for like takeaway food, because like, we're not really people who come on holiday and cook, um, we just like to like eat out at different cafes, restaurants, um, you know, things like that get different takeaways because I don't come on holiday to cook. So I would say that's the only downfall, but if you don't mind that, and you can get around it, there was a Chinese, a fish and chip bar, a Harry's, and then, but because of the dogs, we didn't want to go out too much, and it's not the most dog friendly place, like in the sense of like, like Cornwall, dogs are allowed in pretty much every cafe, every restaurant, whereas like, it didn't give me the vibes that, like, you know, like, it doesn't scream dog friendly. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then the walks and stuff and the beaches are obviously very dog friendly. Um, so, yeah, it, is, it was a really nice holiday. So I would definitely recommend it. And it's somewhere that would be nice to bring your children because it's so safe. Like, there's 7,000 people on the whole island. And, like, we met a... Um, we met this lady in the shop because Bella's leave broke and we went to buy a new one. And, um... She said like her kids, which we saw, rough for say like primary school, high school and college is all attached in one building, which crazy. is crazy. It's not even big, is it? Like, yeah. it was mad. It's, it's hard to describe how big it was, but it was um, probably like the length of, I don't know, like a supermarket one day. Yeah, it was, it was like a big Tesco. Yeah. But yeah, that's enough rambling from me. I hope you enjoyed the Scotland vlog and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.